So this has been, I mean, you've gone really aggressive here, and that's, that's totally fine. I mean, you're basically going like, uh, like a guy in first with your leg kick, which has its advantages. Um, so let's just take you where t your knee goes down. That's where you kick out. So all of this movement back here, um, I, I like how you interpreted it. You had the right intention. Um, but we're trying to create this, where we peak. So this is his peak. Okay, This is your peak right there. And then by the time we get out of it, our body has traveled and our leg has basically gone down. So watch Chapman do it. Right there. That's where he kicks out. You kick out right there. That's your kick out. There are different styles of this. We've talked about this before. Um, but that's your kick out. I'm not saying anything because <laughs> it's pretty obvious that the difference between what you're doing and what he's doing. I mean this. The fact that you're throwing as hard as you are is remarkable and is an, is an attestment to, or is a testament to the hard work that you put in. You can be so much more efficient, Bauer. So much more efficient. And if you, and if you can get there, you know, see... A huge difference. Okay, so your hip is loaded. Your body's loaded right now, but you haven't traveled. So, like, take take Chapman. This is basically, this is a, a very comparable position to where you are right now. <clears throat> His back hip is super loaded. His back knee is flexed. Your back knee is flexed. He's just gone farther. That's That's basically the biggest difference. Take you into foot strike. Uh, a lot of your velocity comes from the late cocking of your arm. You have really good timing with your upper half in relation to foot strike. But your your movements early, that's where you need to make your focus. So we we see significant differences back here peak peak you can you can like this isn't the issue this is the difference how you get out of it